It is really exciting to know that this inspirational organisation has been chosen by Councillor Mohammed Khan as one of the beneficiaries during his year as mayor. Milton Keynes Islamic Arts and Culture was set up by Anwar Kasim and Miriam Schmidt in response to the devastating impact the 9-11 atrocity was having on the diverse communities in Milton Keynes, and in particular on those who follow Islam. A level of mistrust and misunderstanding pervaded, and so they looked at how they could draw communities together through a shared appreciation of art and creativity. From small beginnings, this organisation now hosts a huge annual multicultural event called Art in the Park, taking place in the summer at the end of Ramadan. Over 10,000 people attend the two-day festival through calligraphy, photography, cookery and food, to dance and music and much more, cultural identity is celebrated. We did this in a school group and we sort of, it's a join between like the Syrian music and we had that introduced into the school. Music from like different countries can be played by anyone. Everyone like, in the, as a community have come together. Music is like an international yeah. language. Yeah. So it goes in every country and it's a way of bringing people together. I've met so many friends through music, different years, different places, but it's a great way of meeting new people. All ethnic groups are welcomed and young and old participate in this all-embracing extravaganza. Using educational workshops, interfaith events and digital technology to join and link communities, MKIAC has provided the bridge for communication and understanding. For example, Miriam's textile and design workshops, stitching across borders. Here, whilst developing artistic and creative skills, women, and in many cases those for whom getting out of their home on their own is restricted, have enjoyed expert tuition in the company of other women. I've recently become a board member of Milton Keynes Islamic Art and Culture because they are such an amazing organisation. We're showing a whole series of artworks here and the artwork behind me. When you do a festival, you never know who will come in and really everyone wants to help people who are desperate within their community. A recent exciting addition to their teaching has been the Digital Light Code Making Project. In conjunction with Bletchley Park, they've looked at the importance of digital technology in our lives and how mathematics and art and code writing are inextricably linked. MKIAC has opened up workshops in many different areas and in none more potently than with young people. The spoken word cafe nights have proved very popular, giving a platform to young people to express their anxieties, their feelings and their aspirations. The combination of poetry and storytelling, performance opportunities break down the barriers of social isolation and loneliness. The growth in range of opportunities and outreach of MKIAC has been exceptional. Educative, creative workshops have established an inclusive environment for people of all faiths and none to come together in friendship and learning. It sends out a message of peace and unity through creative collaboration. I hope, Mo, that as Mayor you will have a wonderfully rewarding year in office and that the ongoing contribution of MKIAC to the fabric of communities in Milton Keynes can be more widely appreciated. Thank you for selecting the organisation to play a part in your important year.